Hi guys, hey loves, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm talking about moving out of Nairobi, life out of Nairobi. And yeah, I'm doing that as I get ready with this makeup. And yes, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you share, leave a comment so that we can get to 2k subscribers. And yes, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions about moving, make sure you leave uh, you leave your question in the comment section. It has just come. We must never stop the way. Yeah. But uh, who is this yourself? Yeah. I think it's, it's kind of cute. And as usual, I'm gonna apologize for any extra noises you hear. I mean, unavoidable circumstances. We have to film the video out of yeah. Nairobi and life out of Nairobi. Why I moved, where did I move to? All those kind of questions. And yes, and as usual, nobody can do brows while they talk. So I think I'm gonna do my brows. Um, then I come back. But maybe I should share a brow a brow routine if there is something like that. I love when you buy earrings. I'm thinking between these earrings and this one because the theme of eyeshadow today is gonna be pink and this is more of purple and I, I used to have a dress that had the exact pattern as that purple one I left it, I think I left it in, in the village cute right? this earrings so actually I don't know 20 shillings or 10 shillings they're not the best because it actually makes my ears and what I usually do for my brows is first of all I do apply powder so that you, know, you keep off the oil and yes i have done my skincare routine in case you don't know my skincare routine i have filmed a video of that and i'm gonna leave the link in the description box like and then, that yeah and then i start doing the pencil thing so i'm done with that pencil thing outlining everything it's time to highlight them and shape them and clean however you may call it so yeah i'm gonna need this and this too this is like a foundation i rarely use I don't know where I bought it. I think it's a little bit darker than me. It's a Luron Tropical. And this is my concealer. In Aisha, I actually need to buy a new one. I actually need to buy a new set of brushes too. So, uh, in this video, I'm not going to use a foundation all over my face because I, I haven't bought the, the makeup sponge yet. And I need to go and buy. That's what will take me out of this house today. So, for the foundation, um, I use foundation to highlight on top of my brow. I'm gonna do that. Done with the top of my brow, so I'm gonna clean the under of my brow and I'm gonna use a concealer. I'm done with my brows, so the excess concealer I've just put on my under eye. That helps with making the eyeshadow pop more. So as I blend this out, I'm gonna start talking about my moving, okay? So it's two weeks since I moved out of Nairobi. I out of all the people, I would never have expected that it's me who moved out of Nairobi. I used to think Nairobi is where my success resides. Nairobi is where everything of mine resides and that is just how it was in my head. Now it's time for the eyeshadow but before we put this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna this like one. Specifically this natural color to just be like a base. Okay. So prior to me moving, I didn't know where I was going guys. I feel like it wasn't even in my plan for me to move. I know something about me, I like I'm blessed with that. That's a discerning spirit so i can know like when something is about to happen especially a new change i just feel it in my spirit that you know what so something is about to happen so this particular day i woke up and i was feeling like something is about to happen it's like you feel the energy shifting i don't know if you guys can understand but i i i, I usually know i just didn't know what it was that was gonna move and change done with the blending the the natural kind of color so i didn't know where i was moving i didn't know what it was that uh, was gonna happen but i did feel it in my spirit and i do work closely with this psychic i don't know if it's a psychic but people who tell you what's gonna happen they feel the same shift in energy as you so they also tell you so in around august this particular lady she's called mary emailed me and told me that there is a change something that you're not comfortable where you're staying it was just something in in terms of moving and where i was and it was absolutely true so I'm gonna go with these two shades uh, that are pink, pinkish pinkish. So when it goes to September, I'm gonna go with the darker shade first. And today I wanna try something different. Instead of like putting two colors, one halfway, another one, the other half, I'm gonna put one layer of one and then the other layer on top. You get me? Um, that was 
I knew that I was gonna move. I just didn't know where I was gonna move because I completely had no idea. Remember, I'm completely broke. Quite hard and my mental health was just in the gutter. I was not creating content. Everything was just the ghetto. So when that thing of, when that psychic lady told me that you need to move for like everything to open up for new opportunities for like for you like your energy to to change to drift i didn't know where i was gonna go um i feel like when god gives you um when god tells you to go somewhere he tells you mapema but most probably you don't know where you're gonna go like abraham like you know so that is what happened to me um uh, then to october i met this particular person on instagram and they lived outside of Nairobi and that particular Sunday I couldn't go back home because my then home because it was just I was no longer comfortable like staying in the house so I was like sister Nikki talk a church where am I gonna go then we were communicating with this particular person I met on Instagram and then I was like I should come and see your place they were like come and visit so I came and it was in this house <laughs> that's after coming here on that sunday everything escalated so fast and I, I had to move because i feel like god will always god knows how stubborn i am and he knows how he's gonna pull me to the edge so that i can obey what he has told me <laughs> mm, i'm done with the first the first dark color so i'm gonna go with the light one so after coming to visit this place that sunday the much everything became so uncomfortable and i just had to move i didn't know where i was gonna go i remember that week i was doing so much of crying of course i was not crying in the house i was going to my boyfriend's house and i just go and cry and just let go and just have a little peace moment asking god where am i gonna go so when he showed me that i should move here of course i was not sure because i'm not sure of my safety i'm moving in with someone that i have no idea about i was doing lots of crying <laughs> but you know what god's promises stand out they will always remain so on thursday of that week um after sunday so the next thursday um i i already told my my guardian that i'm moving out so i'm moving to this place so i completely had no option and it's what i had in my plate so i had to take that opportunity every day i was crying because number one i'm not sure about my safety i'm not sure if is this what god really wants me to do <laughs> i was just crying out of frustration out of letting go out of like asking the holy spirit to guide me if this is really what he wants me to do where he wants me to go but you know what i moved on thursdays you know one thing also was like i was thinking about my forever business the business of selling products how it was gonna go now that it's best in nairobi and it's not like i'm so far from nairobi literally where i am it's just 50 shillings to get to nairobi cbd but that is how i moved guys it's two weeks now in here everything is fine i just i feel like when i moved every every door was opening and that was just a sign that where i was was just blocking my destiny i'm gonna put a shadow under here i'm done with my eyeshadow so i think now i'm gonna do my lips and then next is powder and that will be it I go with this and then i take my forever and then i just like do this so that it doesn't look that oily um after moving and remember i was so broke you know sometimes god can give you a sign to do something and you're so broke and you're like finances is the talk about it. but you also forget that he handles everything Tips. for my lips i'm gonna go with my eye pencil i need to find a lip liner instead of using an eye pencil because the eye pencil in a it comes off i don't know if red and pink is in endana are they making sense red and pink no change of plan <laughs> since i bought this i really loved this shiny shiny look you know just like that yeah i'm gonna take my powder that and we are done with today's makeup i'm pretty much done guys i'm done there go. in the thing of moving i do not live alone that is that is also a question and i'm such a doll <laughs> and i'm in a better space 
mind, mentally wise, physically wise. I'm able to create content that brings me so much joy. Any place that I'm not able to create content makes me so depressed. Yeah. Number three, I'm not so far from Nairobi. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. I'm glad I've moved. I know I was so comfortable in the place I was, but now when I'm in an uncomfortable place, I I work. You know, I'm more creative. I am more like busy i want to i i work towards my goals but if you're comfortable i mean who does who works like you're just comfortable so as far as moving is concerned i'm gonna keep moving until i'm able to afford my my own apartment like to rent my own apartment and i'll be so happy universe grant me that so that is my goal i know i'm, I'm gonna get there i just need a job moving got me uh, the job I've been talking about, I'm not really talking much about it until I sign the contract and I know yeah, that this thing I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, I continue with my job hunting, like applying for every and each job that I can do, like waitress and stuff. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope it was worth watching. And give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. We wanna get to 2k and see you on my next video. And tell me what you think about... About that.